Floods and landslides in Myanmar triggered by last week's typhoon Yagi and seasonal monsoon rains have killed at least 226 people, with 77 people missing, state-run media reported Tuesday. The new figures pushed the total number of dead in Southeast Asia from the storm past 500. The accounting of casualties has been slow, in part due to communication difficulties with the affected areas. Footage filmed in Myanmar's capital Naypyita on Tuesday showed damage to homes and infrastructure with people clinging to the damaged of a bridge as they attempted to cross a swollen river. Typhoon Yagi earlier hit Vietnam, northern Thailand and Laos, killing almost 300 people in Vietnam, 42 in Thailand and 4 in Laos, according to the ASEAN Coordinating Center for Humanitarian Assistance. It said 21 people were killed in the Philippines, with another 26 missing. The UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs said Monday that an estimated 631,000 people may have been affected by flooding across Myanmar. There were already 3.4 million displaced people in Myanmar at the beginning of September, according to the UN Refugee Agency, mostly because of war and unrest in recent years, after the military seizure of power in 2021. Heavy rains from the typhoon and the seasonal monsoon brought widespread flash floods to Myanmar, especially the central regions of Mandalay Magwe, Bago, and the Ayarwadi Delta the eastern states Shan, Kaya, Kayan and Mon and the country's capital, Napiata. Some flooded areas have started to see water levels recede but others in the Shan and Kaya states remain critical. More than 160,000 houses have been damaged and 438 temporary relief camps have been opened for more than 160,000 flood victims, Myanmar Allen reported. The military government announced that nearly 240,000 people have been displaced. Myanmar Allen said 117 government offices and buildings, 1040 schools, 386 religious buildings, roads, bridges, power towers and telecom towers were damaged by the floods in 56 townships. A neighbor of the suspect detained after an apparent assassination attempt on Donald Trump on Sunday expressed their surprise the man they'd seen as, never mean-spirited, and, always welcoming, was believed to be involved. Trump was the target of what the FBI said, appears to be an attempted assassination, at his golf club in West Palm Beach, Florida, just nine weeks after the Republican presidential nominee survived another attempt on his life. The former president said he was safe and well and authorities held a man in custody. U.S. Secret Service agents stationed a few holes up from where Trump was playing noticed the muzzle of an AK-style rifle sticking through the shrubbery that lines the course, roughly 400 yards away. 
An agent fired and the gunman dropped the rifle and fled in an SUV, leaving the firearm behind along with two backpacks, a scope used for aiming and a GoPro camera, Palm Beach County Sheriff Rick Bradshaw said. The man was later stopped by law enforcement in a neighboring county. The suspect in custody was Ryan Routh, three law enforcement officials told the AP. The officials who identified the suspect spoke on the condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to discuss the ongoing investigation. Records show Routh, 58, lived in North Carolina for most of his life before moving to Hawaii in 2018. His neighbor in Kawa, Hawaii, Christopher Tam, said the news reports were very surprising. In 2020, Routh made a social media post backing Trump's re-election, but in more recent years his posts have expressed support for Biden and Harris. Routh tried to recruit Afghan soldiers fleeing the Taliban to fight in Ukraine, and spent several months in the country, according to an interview with the New York Times last year. The FBI was leading the investigation and working to determine any motive. Attorney General Merrick Garland was receiving regular updates. Agents with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives were helping investigate. Like I said, pretty kind. Uh, I, I travel a lot for work, and uh, my wife has been here, you know, on her own. And most of the neighbors around here have taken good care of her, and uh, and she's been one of them. Like never mean spirited and always welcoming, just in general. Every interaction we had with him was very, uh, uh, very welcoming and kind. I mean, it's just, we heard the news today and uh, it's just been very surprising. And, uh, you know, obviously it sounds like it's a alleged occurrence, but, but, you know, the, officials do their diligence in finding out what really happened, but if, if he did have anything to do with it, it's very, very shocking to us, certainly.